In a shocker, an inmate of a de-addiction center in Manipur was allegedly beaten to death last night. The deceased has been identified as a 32-year-old Lukram Ningtho, alias Sanjoy. According to inputs, Ningtho, along with two of his friends, were apprehended by a team of Nambol police on May 31st on charges of consuming drugs. But subsequent to this, Ningtho was sent to the revived drug de-addiction come rehabilitation center on the same day. Meanwhile, family members of the deceased received a call from the Nambol police station and asked them to reach a Sion hospital for discussing about an incident. However, to their utter shock, Ningtho's family members learned about his sudden death only after reaching the hospital. As per reports, doctors informed that Ningtho was brought dead to the Sion hospital. It needs to be mentioned here that injury marks were clearly visible in the body of the deceased, which indicates that Lukram Ningtho might have been brutally assaulted, leading to his death. According to reports coming in, three staff members of Revive Drug De-Addiction Come Rehabilitation Centre have been detained by the police for interrogation. All right, so a big story at this point in time, viewers. In a shocker, an inmate of the addiction center in Manipur was allegedly beaten to death last night. Well, the deceased has been identified as a 32-year-old Lukram Ningtho, alias Sanjoy. According to inputs, Ningtho, along with two of his friends, were apprehended by a team of Nambol police on May 31st on charges of consuming drugs. Well, subsequent to this, Ningtho was sent to the Revive Drug De-Addiction Come Rehabilitation Centre on the same day. Meanwhile, family members of the deceased received a call from Nambol Police Station and asked them to reach Sion Hospital for discussing about an incident. However, to their utter shock, Ningtho's family members learned about his sudden death only after reaching the hospital. As per reports, doctors informed that Ningtho was brought dead to the Sion Hospital. It needs to be mentioned here that injury marks were clearly visible in the body of the deceased, which indicates that Lukram Ningtho might have been brutally assaulted, leading to his death. Well, according to reports coming in, three staff members of the Revive Drug De-Addiction Come Rehabilitation Centre have been detained by the police for interrogation. And meanwhile, our colleague Sharad Chandra spoke exclusively to bereaved family members of Lukram Ningtho, alias Sanjoy. Let's listen in. Right now, our team is at the mortuary of Rims Hospital. Uh, you see, uh, these are the victims family, disease family. Uh, they are coming here at the Rims mortuary, waiting for the autopsy test for the dead body. Uh, I should say that the, another case of uh, this uh, uh, inmate of a one rehabilitation center allegedly beaten to death. This is another case now resurfaced in Manipur and uh, this incident happened uh, last uh, evening when uh, one inmate, namely Sanjay, is at about 32. Uh, according to the family members, he was beaten uh, very badly and uh, succumbed to his injury. These are the allegations from the victim's family and with me is the victim's family. This is the elder sister, Masia Niko, elder sister of Sanjay, namely Surjabala. Kari kari no maru ina taang ku drama thoi duma hypad rehabilitation center ming na revive the rehabilitation center hai bakwa nambol ullo wa swaida lewa maale. Masia ita ka no to busa hai, lai ki busa hai, kayaam kui rae. The thirty one, the Tambane, Dogama, thirty two, the Nema series. Dead to the sheep. Mm. Dead three to days. Three, three days later. Three days to Deva. Okay, around thirty past the lake. Mm. Yeah, according to the Sujabla, Sujabla is the elder sister of the disease Sanjay. Uh, according to her, the Sanjay was uh, loose, put into uh, the to, put into the rehabilitation center, namely revive the rehabilitation center located at, in Ulo area on 31st of May. According to the Sarjubala, they just with the consultation of the the whole family, uh, they just uh, 
put uh, Sanj uh, this Sanjay to this particular rehabilitation center so that he can be reformed. But yes, unfortunately, uh, he just, uh, uh, according to the family members, he was very badly beaten by the staffs of the, this rehabilitation center and succumbed to his injury. And we also came to know after interacting with the Sajurbla that uh, Sanjay is survived by one minor daughter and his wife. And now big question is who is going to replace the Sanjay? Sanjay is now dead. His dead body is now lying at the mortuary of the Rims Hospital. And uh, uh, now the hope has been scattered like anything. They hope that the Sanjay will be reformed after putting into the rehabilitation center. Now they are coming here to collect the dead body of the Sanjay. So what is the last appeal from you, Sajubla? My last appeal is that in this place, in this state, there are many sisters like me. There are many mothers like our mothers who are suffering for their addicted son. So our honorable CM, we heard that you are very gentle. Please, please, stop this rehabilitation corruption. Stop this rehabilitation. Those who are running only for money, those who are running, misusing the rehabilitation center's name, and they are unusingly, unreasonably, they are beating. So please look for it. Look into the matter, and please, my my brother Sanjay Singh, please, whatever, whatever possibility is there to punish the culprit, please help us and please listen to our appeal. This is my humble request to the Honorable CM. Yeah, this is a very humble request from Sir Jurbala, who is the elder sister of Sanjay. Sanjay was the only brother for them. And uh, you see, uh, now they, their appeal to the Chief Minister of Manipur and Biren Singh is that uh, now time has come to look into the old rehabilitation center running across the state. And we also learned that the uh, state government do have the around 25 rehabilitation center, but the private rehabilitation center outnumber the rehabilitation center run by the government. Private center, so far, we have learned that around 50 of the private rehabilitation center are running uh, across the state. And uh, now the big question is, is many of the rehabilitation center that is run by private, owned by the private individual, running without any proper guidance, proper guideline being laid down by the social welfare department. This is a big question. Now time has come for the Chief Minister and Brian Singh to intervene into the matter. So that such kind of that should not take place in the future. With video journalist Rosen, this is Sarah Chandra reporting for Nordic Life from Impal.